future Ruby Cars. How are you? My name is Miss Brisley and I'm going to be your teacher in Ruby class. How are you feeling about starting school? I am feeling really excited and today I have two stories that I would like to read with you. We read stories all the time in Ruby class and all of our learning is based on the book that we are reading. So I have two today about starting school. You can listen to them both now or you can listen to the first one and come back for the second one a bit later. Now today I have brought along my teddy bear with me. His name is Moosey and I got him when I was on holiday and so if you would like your teddy bear pause the video and go and grab it now and we'll get started. Okay so our first story is called Harry and the Dinosaurs Go to School and the author of this story is Ian Wybow. He is the person who wrote it and in this story it talks about Harry's first day at school and so I really like this story um, because some of the things that Harry does you guys are going to be doing in September. So I hope you've got your teddy bear ready and let's get started. It was a big day for Harry. He was starting his new school. He was very excited because his friend Charlie was starting that day too. Stegosaurus said he didn't want to go, not after Triceratops told him about no rahs in class. Mum said not to worry, school would be fine. Harry blew his whistle, just like a teacher. He said, in twos, holding hands my dinosaurs, no talking and jump in the bucket. The dinosaurs did what Harry said, all except Stegosaurus. He was so nervous his plates were rattling. Harry had to give him a special stroke. Sam said, you can't take dinosaurs to school, silly. And that's why her toast ended up on the floor. Oh dear, I think Harry might be feeling a little bit nervous. Mum took Harry to school. Now, in this story, Harry goes to school by cycling. He's on his bike with his mum. I wonder how you guys are going to get to school. Are you going to be walking? or maybe getting driving in the car, maybe you're getting the bus. There's lots of different ways, so I wonder how you will be getting to school. Mrs. Rance was waiting at the classroom door when Harry and Bum got there. Hello, Harry, she said. Welcome to your new school. They all said goodbye to the mums and dads. And look how brave they are. All smiling, saying goodbye to mums and dads, knowing that it will be home time soon. Then Mrs. Rance showed Harry the coat pegs. You can leave your lunchbox here too, she said. Harry was too shy to say, could he have his bucket back? And that's why his dinosaurs got left outside the classroom. So when we come to school, you will have your own coat peg and you can put your coat on there and then your bags uh, will go in the classroom because you'll need all of your stuff for the day. If you bring a lunchbox to school, that will go in the cloakroom as well and we'll show you where to put that when you come in in September. Harry missed his dinosaurs, so he didn't like the classroom. He didn't like the home corner or the special work tray. And he felt sorry for another boy with a digger who cried when his mum went home. The boy wouldn't say a single word, not even his name. Oh dear, it's very sad, isn't it? I wonder how we can make that boy feel a little bit better. Harry sort of liked the playground at playtime, but it wasn't much fun, even the monkey bars not without his dinosaurs. Oh dear. If you have a look at all the other children, some of those seem to be quite happy. Some might be feeling a little bit nervous still, but some of them are joining in some games. And if you're feeling nervous on your first day, that's okay. We'll see what Harry does to make himself feel better. Back in class, the digger boy still wouldn't speak. Maybe he wants to go to the toilet, Harry suggested. I'll show him where it is, shall I? Mrs. Ranch said, good idea, how thoughtful. All the way to the toilet, the boy kept quiet. It was the same on the way back till they got to the class. Then they heard a voice, very sad and very soft. Wow, it said. 
my dinosaurs, said Harry. They miss me. Would you like to see them? The boy nodded. So Harry said, this is a Patasaurus, an Ankysaurus. This is Skeletosaurus. This is Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus. Pterodactyl is the baby. Wait, where's Stegosaurus? Jump out, Stegosaurus called Harry. Don't be shy. But Stegosaurus wanted a whisper. Ah, Harry said. Stegosaurus said he will come out, but only if he can have a ride on your digger. And do you know what? The boy nodded and passed it over. So look how happy both Harry and the boy are now. And that is a lovely way to make friends, is to help each other, like Harry did when he showed the boy where the toilet was, and to play with each other, play with the same game. So Harry shared his dinosaurs and the boy shared his digger. And that is a lovely way to make new friends. When Harry and the boy got back, Mrs. Ranch said, oh good, Dinosaurs! I love dinosaurs! Do they ra? Do you think they ra? Ra! said the dinosaurs and blew all the windows open. Oh, my goodness, said Mrs. Rance. That was a ra. They all sat down in the classroom. Now we're going to make new labels for our coat pegs, said Mrs. Rance. Hands up, who knows how to write their name? I wonder if you know how to write your name. Or maybe can you uh, spot some of the letters that are in your name? The boy with his digger put up his hand. And what are you going to write? Smiled Mrs. Rance. Jackosaurus, said the boy. It was the very first word he had spoken all day. And what a good joke it was too. All the other children laughed and laughed. Harry felt very happy. Charlie, ha Harry and their new friend Jack sat down together at the table with the dinosaurs. They laughed and they roared and they made beautiful labels to show where their things belonged. And that is Endosaurus. And here are all the lovely dinosaurs and their names and a very helpful top tip of how to pronounce them. So I loved this story, Harry and the Dinosaurs, because Harry wasn't, he wasn't feeling too happy at the beginning. He was feeling a little bit nervous. He wasn't sure about leaving his mum. But then he made a friend and he made a friend by being kind and sharing things and offering to help someone. And that's really important. And that's what we're going to try and do when we start school is we're going to share our toys and we're going to tell each other our names and we're going to help one another. And in no time at all, we're all going to make lots, new, uh, lots of new friends in the class. So this was one of my favorite stories and I hope you enjoyed it. And now you have a choice. You can pause the video and come back later or if you want more, I'm now going to read another story with you. Hello again, future RubyCast. I'm back with my second story. This book is called Starting School and it was written by Janet and Alan Allberg. And in this story, it follows a group of children as they go through their first week at school. And some of the things that they do are quite similar to some of the things that Harry does in our last story. And some of the things that you will be doing as well when you start in September. So let's have a listen and see if you can spot some of the things that are the same in this story to the last one. So, the first day. The children wait in the playground with their mums and dads and brothers and sisters and a puppy. The bell rings. Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shuma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go into the school and meet their new teacher. They hang their hats and coats in the cloakroom, have a look at the toilets and go into the classroom. They sit on the mat with the rest of the class. The teacher calls the register and collects the dinner money. She shows the children round the classroom and the parents too. In the classroom, there are tables, chairs and drawers for the children to keep their things in. There is a book corner, 
a home corner, an interest table, a box of dressing up clothes and a baby rabbit in a rabbit hutch. During the morning, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shuma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison get used to the classroom and the rabbit gets used to them. At playtime, they go out to play. At lunchtime, they eat their lunch. In the afternoon, they draw pictures, go out to play again and have singing in the hall. At the end of the day, they tidy up, have a story on the mat, put their hats and coats on and go home. The second day. The next day, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shuma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go to school again. In the morning, they do a picture and some writing in their new books. After that, they have music and movement in the hall. Errol's mum plays the piano. At playtime, Robert loses his hat and Alison finds it. Errol bangs his knee and the teacher rubs it better. Gavin and Shuma and David climb the climbing frame. Kate thinks about climbing. In the afternoon, the children make some models. They show them to their head teacher, have a story on the mat and go home. The first week. As the days go by, the children get more used to the school. On Wednesday, they go into the hall for assembly. They listen to singing and say a prayer. They watch some older children do a play. On Thursday, they start learning to read. Gavin can read already and he brings his book from home to show the teacher. Errol brings his tooth to show the teacher. It came out in the night. On Friday, they go swimming in the swimming pool. The water is warm and not too deep. Robert and Shuma and Kate jump up and down. David and Sophie walk in down the steps. Errol thinks about walking in too. In the afternoon, Kate and Shuma and David do cooking with David's mum. They make 12 little cakes, three big cakes and a mess. Time goes by. The next week, Gavin and Errol, Sophie and Shuma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison choose a name for the rabbit. They draw rabbit pictures, make rabbit models, bake rabbit biscuits, have rabbit stories on the mat and do lots more rabbit things besides. Oh, and they named their rabbit Roland. There's a little card here that says, my name is Roland, Roland the rabbit. Very sweet. The week after that, the children have their photographs taken. And the week after that, Gavin loses a glove. And Alison learns to swim. Sophie reads a book. And Shuma shows her sari. And, and her diva lamp. Robert thinks about being in a Halloween play. And sometimes the children are happy and sometimes they are sad, sometimes puzzled or sleepy or grumpy or lumpy or spotty. Sometimes the teacher is not cheerful either. The end of term. Christmas comes. In the last week of term, the infants do a play about baby Jesus. Everybody has a part and all the mums and dads come to watch. On the last day of term, the children bring cakes and crisps, sausages, sandwiches and jellies and have a party in the classroom. Then Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shuma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go home. And the holiday begins. Okay, so what I loved about this story was that the children uh, show you some of the activities that you guys are going to be doing in September as well, on your first day. And this was very similar to some of the activities that Harry did on his first day as well. So let me just show you. Right, so
says on the first day the children wait in the playground now you guys will come to your new classroom from the playground so you're going to be doing that as well so you're coming through the gate with whoever's dropping you off in the morning and then you will see your teacher by the classroom so you'll see me and i'll give you a big wave and you'll have to say goodbye to whoever's dropping you off um, because mums and dads are not allowed in the classroom are they no they they have to go home or go to work and do whatever it is they need to do and then they'll pick you up at the end of the day and then we're going to show you where to hang your coat so where your peg is where the toilets are and we also have a big mat in our classroom and everybody has their own space so we'll show you where to sit and then we'll take the register and our classroom also has some of the things uh, that this classroom has in our story so we have tables and chairs and we have drawers to put our things in we have a book corner and a home corner and an interest table we don't have a rabbit though i'm afraid i wish we did but we don't have a rabbit we have some toys toy bunnies and teddies and things like that but no real animals and in the morning we're going to get used to our classroom and we're going to go out to play and have lunch and draw some pictures and make friends and have a story on the map and so all of the things that are in this story are things that we're going to do at school as well Thank you very much for listening everyone. I hope you enjoyed our stories. Don't forget that in September, just before you start school, uh, we are going to have a meeting with you and mum and dad or whoever we're having the meeting with. And you get to show us the lovely picture that you designed from your craft pack. Um, and also we, we gave you a pencil to see if you can begin writing your own name. So we really look forward to seeing you then and seeing how you get on. Have a lovely summer and we'll see you very soon. Bye.